How's everyone doing today? I have an awesome mail day of a bunch of goodies in here. And this big old box came from uh, one of my friends on here. But first up, I'm going to show you uh, a few different items before I get to what's in the box. What's in the box? Uh, let me know what movie that came from. If you don't know, watch some more movies. Definitely watch that movie, though. Uh, first up are two items that came from uh, Film Movement. And I requested this title because it sounded... Uh, sad and, and you know just heartbreaking and i love depressing movies it's kind of a uh like a docudrama i believe I, maybe it is actually a full-on documentary um but it's called uh song without a name it's based on a true story and uh, i said i think it's in the 80s in peru and uh, basically where this given uh, this woman gives birth at a clinic and the baby is stolen and apparently this is a thing that happened commonly in peru during that time period um I guess uh, there's a lot of like corruption and uh, I guess she tries to contact a reporter and they kind of uncover, um, you know, uh, all these different uh, string of abductions tied to fake clinics uh, and there's, you know, deeper corru uh, corruption inside the Peruvian society. And I believe this is uh, Peru's um, kind of like selection for the Oscars coming up. Um, so that is uh, interesting and that's one of the main things that kind of like drew me to it. And uh, it just looked haunting, sad. Uh, you know, that storyline alone, you know it's going to be super depressing. But uh, the fact that this was something that happened, uh, you know, I guess apparently, uh, you know, common thing that happened during that time period, uh, it's just, just tragic, heartbreaking. I couldn't even imagine. Uh, but it, you know, definitely is something that I wanted to check out. Uh, so I requested this one. Uh, film Movement is, they do a great job with, uh, you know, uh, independent, uh, you know, international films. I've talked about them a bunch in the past, but their Film Movement Classics line has some amazing releases. I've talked about this every time. Uh, my two favorite releases are two New Zealand films, A Quiet Earth, a great sci-fi, uh, post-apocalyptic movie. And then Once Were Warriors, a really awesome uh, family drama, uh, really tense. Uh, but this one, um, I didn't request this one, but they sent it along. Uh, with this one right here. Uh, this one's a DVD only. Uh, this is a uh, Blu-ray right here. This is from 1979, a uh, Chinese movie from uh, King Hu, and uh, who uh, did a, a Touch of Zen. And uh, it's basically about a Buddhist abbot who's protecting this uh, sacred handwritten scroll. And there's uh, people trying to uh, steal it, essentially, at uh, this peaceful monastery. And so uh, becomes a battle of wits and fists, it says. So I'm excited to uh, check this one out. Again, I really like uh, the films that I've seen from Film uh, Movement uh, Classics line. So I'm going to check this one out. And they have some good special features. The transfers are really good usually too. Uh, this is a new digitally restored 2K uh, transfer by Taiwan, uh, Taiwan Film and Audiovisual Institute. Um, so definitely check them out if you like uh, labels like Criterion Collection, things like that. They do uh, a lot of amazing releases and the films they've uh, chosen, I've really enjoyed too. And then I picked up two VHS tapes from eBay. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I don't really, I, I feel like I always say that, like, you know, people that are watch VHS tapes this day and age are kind of hipsters. <laughs> um, because honestly, the video quality is, is kind of terrible. I'm part of a couple of VHS groups on Facebook for horror just because... The collector in me, there's certain ones that I do want. Uh, that, like, for instance, actually, I just realized I have this. I'm like, Blood Diner. Uh, I would love to have that in VHS. I'm wearing the t shirt for it right now. It's one of my all time favorite movies. It's super cheesy and ridiculous, but I love it. And one I remember watching as a kid. Uh, but there's a few things I collect. And, but I remember just recently, like last night, I think it was in the group, somebody was uh, showing, uh, I can't remember what movie it was, but uh, I want to say it was a Christmas and Re New Year's Eve horror. One of those two, uh, but they're saying, oh, the, the picture quality is terrible. And all these people are like, yeah, the Blu-ray quality is better. No, really? Obviously, the, the Blu-ray quality is going to be better. It's just mind-blowing. It's like, are you, if you watch the VHS, like sometimes they're unwatchable, the video quality, uh, the picture quality, even the audio too. Like, I, I, I don't know. I get for the nostalgia factor, but it's just, you know, at the time there was nothing better. From VHS to DVD, there was such a gigantic leap in quality. And then even from Blu-ray. And, you know, now we've got 4K, too. And I feel like a lot of people don't want to get 4K chance, but if you want the best picture quality out there, and even some of the better audio quality for a lot of these releases, it's the way to go, and especially for older films, too. Um, so, anyways, I digress. I picked up two VHS films for one of my all-time favorite movies, It's a Wonderful Life. 
Um, I've got several different editions of it. It's one of those movies that I collect, but Killer Clowns Matter Space is another movie that I collect multiple editions of. John Carver's The Thing, I collect multiple editions of. If it's like one of my all-time favorite movies, I'll collect multiple editions of it. Uh, I was looking for this one right here with the lenticular cover, which you can see right there, the classic poster and then that classic shot, that scene right there. Um, so I, again, this is my third favorite movie of all time. The quintessential Christmas movie, inspirational, I love it. Uh, Frank Capra, classic, James Stewart, Donna Reed. Um, and I just love the heck out of this one. And I have, again, I have multiple different editions of it. So I really wanna get, there's a poster that I wanna get for it, uh, but it's like crazy expensive. Uh, but then I came across this one, a Drambuie uh, one, which I, it's an alcohol, it's still brand new, still sealed, which I think I might leave it like that actually. And this one right here uh, still has the plastic wrap, but they opened up the bottom to uh, take the tape out, which I think is actually pretty cool, uh, especially because it has the lenticular faceplate right there. Uh, so I appreciate that. And uh, Drambuie is um, alcohol, which I don't, I think I had way back in the day, but I don't remember it too much. Um, I'm trying to remember it's, what kind it, it actually is right here. If it's some kind of like a blend of uh, whiskey or something perhaps. I'm not sure. Does it say? I don't know. But it says, enjoy two legends tonight. Get drunk and watch uh, it's, uh, it's a Wonderful Life. That's basically what I'm taking from there. Maybe you can class it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, Lionel Barrymore in here too. Uh, just an all-time classic. Let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is. Uh, I love this movie so friggin' much. Uh, this is nostalgia for me too. So two VHS tapes I decided to pick up for It's a Wonderful Life. Again, I don't watch VHS anymore. Just for collecting purposes, I got it. And speaking of collecting purposes, this box right here is actually from uh, Justin, Movie Watch Daily. Uh, definitely check out his channel. I've talked about his channel before, actually. One of my favorite channels to watch. He puts a lot of time and effort in editing uh, into his videos. I love the inserts, all the different edits. Uh, I think he's hilarious. Uh, he does a, he does videos like daily. Uh, one of my, again, one of my favorite channels to watch on here. So high recommendation. I'd be recommending him even if he didn't send me this box of goodies right here, uh, which is super awesome. Uh, he talked about, uh, I think in one of his videos, he had like mad balls in the back. And so I made a comment about that. He's like, oh, I got some extras if you want them. I was like, yeah, I do. I, so I was like, uh, you know, I don't want to be too greedy. Do you have these three? And he sent me all of them, which blew my mind. Um, super generous. Thank you so much, Justin. I'm going to go ahead and show you. I love Mad Balls growing up as a kid. I remember I had a Mad Balls VHS tape too, in fact, but I have a Mad Balls um, t-shirt. I should have worn that. I didn't plan properly. I didn't, you know, accordingly uh, dress up for it, but uh, I love these, especially these horror ones. Uh, so freaking awesome. Uh, Leatherface right there. I, I just dig the heck out of these. I'm going to take these out and display them properly, but uh, I love these. Super freaking cool. Um, thank you so much for sending these over. This again is a major nostalgia for me. I love Mad Balls growing up as a kid. I wish I would have kept the ones I had as a kid. Uh, some of those are like super rare and hard to find. Uh, Predator right there too, which looks super awesome. I'm going to rip these suckers open and show you properly um, what these guys look like instead of seeing the netting on here. There you go. You can squeeze them. You know, there are, there are little balls right there. If you're not familiar with Mad Balls, they're kind of like gross out, uh, you know, kind of in the same vein of like garbage pill kids, but there are like these little balls. And uh, again, I remember uh, having the movie. Uh, I think there might've been two movies in fact, but I had one of them on VHS and I don't know where that went to. I'm kind of bummed about it, but Predator right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take out Leatherface again. And I feel like Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the better horror franchises overall for like all the different movies. I know there's a, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D I wasn't a big fan of, but I did enjoy the recent Leatherface one. Uh, but here we go. And I thought it was something like really unique and different that they did with that character. But look at all the gross out detail right there, all the pus oozing out and stuff. Uh, for all the, <laughs> there's the mallet right there. That's awesome, I didn't even notice that. That is super cool. So I dig the heck out of this. I love that. Let's see if there's anything in the back of the Predator too. You get a little skull right there. But, oh, so friggin' awesome. And so yeah, I and I asked him for uh, if he had three of them and he, he sent them all, which again, super friggin' awesome. Uh, there is Freddy. Look at that, the glove. 
the detailing. The detailing is amazing on these. So super cool. See the brains. Oh, these are so awesome. I, the detail is just blowing me away, actually. I didn't really notice this at first. Um, yeah, I got... There's three more. Three more. And... Whoa. I, that's, that's awesome. I'm just... I'm, like, looking at this one. I didn't even realize the detailing on this one. Look at the eyeball right there. The face hugger from Alien. Super cool. Look at that. The hat on there. It's a game over, man. Love that. That is so freaking awesome. Look at the eyeball. Oh, wow. And this is uh, they're from Kid Robot. That is so much cooler than I realized. Ah, oh, I'm digging these so freaking much. Thank you so much, Justin. Again, check out his channel. Uh, he does amazing videos, uh, you know, reviews, going over collection, different news and updates for upcoming releases. Uh, he's got his little dog in there, Pete, a Boston Terrier. Um, and he's, you know, he's hilarious to watch and great editing as well. The inserts, um, all that. Uh, definitely a high, one of the highest recommendations I can give. And he's awesome. I enjoy talking to him too. So, he, you know, he's got a, a great collection and movie knowledge. And there is the alien right there. You can see all the detailing. And it's kind of like that foam rubber and kind of like squishy, kind of like a, you know, stress ball even. But I dig these so friggin' much. That is so awesome. And then last but not least is one that you have to get if you're going to get these Mad Balls. I feel like this is one of the, like, this is probably like my favorite one out of the bunch. Um, because it's my favorite slasher. Let me know what your favorite slasher franchise is and who your favorite slasher killer character is. Bam, Jason Voorhees right there. Look at that. Let me know what your favorite sequel is for uh, Friday the 13th. I recently watched uh, Friday the 13th, uh, Don't Hike in the Snow, and then um, uh, Never Hike Alone. Um, I love both. I wish uh, Don't Hike in the Snow was longer. It was only like a half an hour. And then uh, Never Hike Alone was uh, an hour. They're both fan-made films, but they're amazing. Like better than a lot of studio films. Uh, but there's the detailing right there, all the pus oozing out, the worm, just so friggin' cool. These are amazing. I love the detail on there. So friggin' awesome. I'm gonna display them, maybe in the background. I feel like I got all my horror stuff on this side, so maybe I'll try to do it over here. But I love seeing them, the stuff in the background too. So thank you so much, Justin. And you know, actually, one more thing. <laughs> I just noticed, like, I have the Steelbook for uh, It's a Wonderful Life right here, the 4K Steelbook. But uh, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings from Zuzu. Um, but really great release there, too, from Paramount. But I'm going to do a video actually showing, like, my It's a Wonderful Life collection. Um, I don't know. I feel like I have a bunch of different ones. I want to get more, too. So if you have anything unique that you know about for It's a Wonderful Life, let me know. Same thing with Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Same thing for uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Those are ones I collect multiple different editions of so i'm always on the lookout for like you know foreign editions that look kind of cool cover wise or something different and unique that stands out we have a japanese laser disc for Jabber carpenters and the thing uh i've always wanted to get there's like a japanese vhs for killer clowns but it goes for like crazy money uh, i want to get that again blood diner too i don't really have many editions for that one uh, i've got the blu-ray uh, i've got a bootleg that i had for like forever ago before i had an official release uh and then i've got a german dvd for it um t-shirts and stuff like that but um super awesome again thank you justin for uh the mad balls right here super awesome um i don't have a proper thumbnail for i can hold all of these but you get the idea they're super cool um love them so freaking much uh super generous this really surprised me because i didn't think you were going to send all of them like this but i definitely appreciate it and i'm going to be displaying them um so i definitely love the heck out of these it definitely brings me back to my childhood as well uh, i loved mad balls growing up as a kid and i love garbage pail kids all that really gross out stuff you know horror movies i was a wild little kid <laughs> but uh i think it's just so awesome to see these and to see mad balls again and kid robot did an amazing job on these too of the detailing uh superb gross and amazing and awesome tastic i love them uh thank you so much justin again definitely check out his channel uh high recommendation 
Uh, if you like, you know, collection, horror, movie news, all that good stuff and humor as well, uh, check his channel out. I'll put a link down below. And uh, yeah, let me know if you, what you collect, like, or what's a movie you have the most editions of. Uh, if you collect certain things for certain movies, you know, again, It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, I'm going to do a video for probably uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That's probably the uh, movie that I have the most releases for. Uh, Jack Harper's The Thing is my all-time favorite movie. But uh, Killer Clowns, I feel like just over time I've gotten so many, there's been so many different releases for it too. Um, and just more easily accessible too. But there you go. That's what came in the mail today. And super awesome. I love the heck out of it. Now I'm going to find a way to display all these guys too. Let me know if I should put them in the back because... These are like all like, you know, classy Criterions and, you know, Twilight Time and stuff like that over here. And over here, we've got some Arrow Video and Steelbooks and Digibooks and stuff like that. So maybe I will display. I just, I like seeing these kind of things in the background. Uh, you know, you get an idea for a you know, personality and what people enjoy. Like you see my John Carver's The Thing poster. That's a Japanese reproduction poster right there, which I was able to get signed up. Um, I'm going to get more signatures on there if possible. But yeah, you get an idea of what people are into, their personality as well. So I think that's cool. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did you guys grow up with Mad Balls and Garbage Pail Kids and things like that too? What was your favorite, uh, you know, toy or, you know, kind of like gross out, different kind of thing like that as a kid? Uh, Garbage Pail Kids, Mad Balls. There's a bunch of different things that kind of fall into that category. Uh, but leave me those comments down below. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.